Brothers and sisters of the celestial energy, this brother wisdom. How you guys doing? You know, I just want to talk about Grandmaster J. Um, with the NCAF, I think it is NCAF or N A N A N A F C. Um, but I just want to applaud the brother. I really want to applaud him. He's uh, bringing together brothers and sisters um, who has a desire to use handheld weapons or weapons, you know, made made by hand, and which is nothing wrong with that. But what he's doing is he's getting the brothers and sisters together and say, hey, these beings that we dealing with they threaten but they really can't carry out the threat that they actually want to put out unless they're in a group and they're surrounding one of our own all right just like the police all right if you if you got a whole group of us standing ready to fight the police is not gonna they're not gonna they're gonna back off because they're bullies because they know that you know these everybody's coming for a real fight as long as they can feel good they can shoot one brother or one sister and be like you know I got something under my belt you know this is this is this is what they do like we said this is all fear tactics by this system okay Grandmaster J is leading brothers and sisters to help them to have faith in themselves and to arm up, all right? Now, for all you brothers and sisters, if you want to do that, that's like I always said, this is what you wanna do. For me, on the other hand, for me, I'm a mystic. I'm one who links and who believes in myself and links into different powers and energies you know and and go deep into myself do i know how to use a weapon yes i do i am well versed in the art of weaponry i am well versed in using knives using uh uh, uh, uh sticks i am very well versed in using guns I am well versed. I have no, I, believe me, I, I, I can use weapons. But I'm seek, I, I am going into a higher power, a much higher power than using weapons. And that's using the power of the dark force. But, you know, like I said, I'm applauding the brother because um, he's, he's doing a, a, a okay job. He's doing an A plus job. This is an A plus job that he's doing by bringing brothers and sisters together um, to let these org beings know that we're no longer going to be taking your threats and we're going to be standing up to you. And, and see, the thing about it is, I hope this sends message to the other brothers and the other sisters out here who have taken the liberty to want to fight their own you know there's so much going on out of the world that our other brothers and sisters don't know like for instance I'm at the gas station yesterday you know getting ready for work young brother two young brothers actually flashing their money around you know, talking about they stacks or whatever, da 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 da. I say, hey, bruh, bruh, bruh. Hey, look at me. I say, you don't know what's going on? He says, no. I say, you understand that this paper cash is about to be obsolete? And the first thing the brother says to me is, what's obsolete mean? So I had to explain to him what obsolete means. You know, he's 24, 25 years old, doesn't know what obsolete means. So, then I explained to him what was going on and, and how they're transferring the monies and all that. And they go into digital cash. You got to have a card or whatever. And even the, the, the Arab guy behind the counter, he confirmed it. So that's just let you know 
that brothers and sisters out here are not watching it's the the younger the, a lot of the, not not all of them but a lot of the younger brothers and sisters are not watching what's really going on all over the world especially in our neck of the woods they're not watching therefore they don't know you know in in a in NAFC or in in NACF or, you know that some of them don't know Grandmaster J and this brother here he's like hey the Ku Klux Klan put all these threats out say they're gonna do something 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 and they walk up on uh, uh, on, on what's that Stone Mountain in Georgia home of the Ku Klux Klan and these motherfuckers didn't show up. And it's going to be the same way with the police. It's going to be the same way with, with the freaking military. Number one, what, 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 what did we say one time before? These orcs do not want to war against us. Because number one, they know that they are going to lose. They do not want to war against us. But it's going to happen. And it has to happen because we have to take down their system. They don't want to war against us. They know who we really are as warriors. They know that we are the most powerful beings in the galaxy. And this is what we got to awaken, uh, awaken ourselves to. And Brother Grandmaster J, I, like I say, brother, I applaud you for all the work that you're putting in and getting brothers together, brothers and sisters together to have faith in themselves and to have faith in each other because we know that when we war together, there is a special energy that come upon us and these orc things, they know it. This is why the Ku Klux Klan didn't come out because they felt that energy walking up the hill. They felt that energy. And that's why they didn't come out. All right. So there's a special energy that comes upon us when we war. There's a, there's a very powerful energy that comes upon us. And the same for us when as we uh, who are, are linking into our mystical powers or what they call dark magic or dark energy. We who are linking into these powers, the same for us. Because, you know, some things might not work when we're by ourselves, but there are things that will just come alive when we're together. All right? Remember the, the, the super friends, they had the Wonder Twins? Wonder Twins activate. They put their fists together. You know, and then all of a sudden they can take shapes and forms and have all these different powers and energy, whatever. This is the same thing here, my people. So, like I said, I applaud the brother. He's, he's really, really gone way heavy he's going heavy 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 into uh into um getting our people to come into the knowledge that the only way we are going to uh answer a threat is to be a bigger threat than the threat that was given and these brothers were armed and they were ready to do whatever they had to do. Like I said, there's a special energy that comes upon us when we are ready to war and they were ready to war. They were not going to die. That's the thing about it. These, these, these earth beings know. They have this knowledge and they know that we have had past battles and we have fought and none of us died. All right. So I applaud the brother. He's doing an excellent job. He's doing a shake up and a wake up. All right. This brother's doing a shake up and a wake up. This literally shook the whole orc community, the whole orc world. And this actually 
uh, open up gateways for other brothers and sisters to see that, hey, we've got to make a difference. We've got to stand up. We've got to come against these beings and we got to show them that we have no fear whatsoever. This is what we got to do. As a people, as a people, the original people of this planet, we've got to show these beings that we're not scared, that we are, we don't fear them. And this is what Grandmaster Jay did. All the brothers came together and all the sisters came together. Brothers and sisters, fully armed with heavy artillery and light artillery. And they were ready to fight. And what did these punk ass orcs do? They ran. See, you got to understand when they when they came to war against us and they started fighting and they were fighting us and they realized that they were losing. What's the first thing they did? They went and got our own people to stand against us. Now this thing is turned all the way around and they don't have the luxury of getting the and uh, drama and drama the uh, 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 um, galaxy. They don't have the luxury of causing the galactic council to to turn against us. They don't have that luxury anymore because they know that they are on their own. All right. So this, I, like I say, I applaud Grandmaster Jay. He's doing an awakening call, showing our people how to come together. And I hope the young brothers and sisters out here see what's happening. And see the real battle that's ahead of us because our battle is not between us. We're fighting and fighting each other over so what somebody said. We're killing each other over a piece of paper with a white man face on it. We're we're doing each other in for a shoe, a pair of glasses, Mark Cores, Cartier, Pelis. I mean, we we killing each other for these orc bean stuff, and we don't even know. Our people, our young people don't even know. This energy is all over my head right now. Our young people don't even know what is really going on around us. So our key is to watch everything fold over. As we said before, we said, we said, we said, watch, watch everything begin to crumble. Watch everything begin to fall and it's falling, it's crumbling right now. But, you know, the thing about it is we got a brother out here and He's leading the people who desire to use artillery. This is the first part of the, of, of, of the war. You got to remember, there's a second part of the war when those who possess no weapons, no artillery, but the weapons are within them and we're going to come in and help out. We were going to come in and help close the door. And that's that's is this is why you must take this thing serious. You know, you must take this thing very, very serious. This is this is no joke. People are going to die. People are going to be split in half. People are going to bleed. People are going to be crushed. I mean, things are going to happen. I mean, you like I said, this the dark energy is literally going to protect your mind from 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 going crazy because there's going to be a so a whole lot of stuff that's going to be going on. People split in half and heads busted and bleeding out and I mean just I mean decapitated heads and I mean it's 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 going to be what they call gore. Literally, it's going to be gore. So we must prepare ourselves for this. And these brothers and sisters, they were prepared to fight. They were prepared to stand up against some thugs, some 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 orc thugs who go out, like I said, and they single out one brother or one sister and they want to kill them. They want to hang them or shoot them or, or, or beat them up. But when you got a full army of brothers and sisters, you see how they run. Now, this is just to let you guys know all these politicians is up here and these police officers and all. What, what do we always say? You stand up to these motherfuckers. All you got to do is stand up to them a little bit and they run it. Why? 
because they know they don't have the power that they think they have that they have. They think they have under that fictitious law. They already know that the law is not real. So understand, my people, that we have a a, a, a much greater advantage. With the unity of us coming together, Grandmaster J. I give you power, brother. I give you power. Now, believe me, you know, like he's I, I heard him say, you know, I see all these people on YouTube talking da 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 da. da. Hey. When the time come, I'll be out there. I'll be out there. I've been in the field. I know what it's like. When the time come, I'll be out there. But I'm seeking for a much higher power. I'm linking until not seeking, but I'm linking into a much higher power where I won't have to use artillery. Like I say, you got brothers and sisters out there who have to use it because they have to see, they have to see and they have to feel and they have to, you know, it has to be that physical thing. And it doesn't matter because the awakening comes in different factions. It's just as long as it's an awakening. I said, hey, they are here on our land. They've taken our lives They've got us in, in, in prison on our own land. They got us in custody. Something's got to be done. They keep threatening us. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm walking around and look at these orc beans and I'm like, wow, these are some pitiful ass motherfuckers. I swear. All pale and, and dead looking and bleached. And, and I mean, just, I mean, the worst looking bastards I could ever, ever look at. Even the ones with makeup on. I mean, it's just like putting makeup on a fucking pig. I swear. So. They do not level up to who we are. That's why they want us to be who they are. They want us to lower ourselves. They want us to lower ourselves. So that. Um. We will be on their animalistic level. We must raise ourselves up so that we will be on the God level. Brothers and sisters, I see I see brothers and sisters in that in that group. Um, what was that? Um, Israelites versus commit on, on, on Facebook and say, didn't you see he said pray? He gave him praises to Yah. I said, yeah, but the thing about it is he not waiting for no Yah to come and save his ass. He realized that I'm the God in this Bible that's got to go out and go to war. So, like I said, you have the brothers and sisters who uh, depend on Artillery weapons that 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 that's made by the hands of man. But then you have the other brothers and sisters who depend on dark energy weapons. Weapons that are not made by man's hands, but weapons that are designed directly by Mother Cosmos that are within us. And this is the key point. This is why we're going to go into the colors and all that, because we're going to. It's a lot of things to learn. So we're learning about self. And that's the key point is learning more about yourself. So the more that you know about who you are, the more powerful you can become. Like how many of our brothers and sisters knew that right there at the top of our back, right up under our neck, we literally have an, a halo. And you can link into that energy and do deep breath meditation and you can feel that boy begin to Heat up. You can feel the vibrational energy. You can feel the electricity popping all around your body. So, like I said, we're here in the knowledge of self. Those of you who are here, you know, getting this information and you getting into the knowledge of self, learning to link into the dark energy. Like I said, I have no problem using a uh, 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 weaponry. I am well versed in pretty much all weapons. I am well versed. All right. I know how to use knives. I know how to use guns. I know how to use sticks. I know how to use. I, I know. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm no I, I'm I'm no I'm no I'm, I'm no uh, 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 novice. 
I'm not a novice. I'm, I am well versed in weaponry. But the thing about it is I'm linking it to a much higher power. Like I said, the only way to defeat our enemies is we must go on a, on a much higher power. But at the same time, they don't want a war against us because they know that the energy that we will be sending from our bodies will be become like the Hulk where we will not stop until every one of them are dead. This is why they're trying to uh, 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 constantly pacify us. They see something going on. We're going to throw them some money. You know, we're going to do this right here. We're going to do this right here. We're going we're gonna to do this right here. It's going to come a point in time where we're going to get tired of this shit and we are already tired of it now and we're going to get ready and we're going to we're going to put ourselves together and we're going to literally march and we're going to take them all out. They know who we are. They know who we are, whether we're dealing with uh, 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 physical weapons or metaphysical weapons. They know who we are. All right, my people. So, like I said, brother Grandmaster J. I applaud you, brother. I thank you. I thank you for getting our people together to go out there in the field. One day, very soon, I'll be out there too. I'll stand right beside you, brother. But right now, I'm looking into a much higher power. I'm looking into a much higher energy. All right. So uh, with that, with that being said, um, as usual, all power to the multi chakra celestial energy beings. Peace to you all. And remember, have faith in yourself. No matter what you do, have faith in yourself. Remember, faith is inner, inner peace, inner power. Believe in yourself and believe in yourself only. Nothing else but you. All right, guys. All right. All power to the multi chakra celestial energy beings. Peace to you all.